All right, I think we're recording. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in full screen. So I've been meaning to make this video for about a week. Uh, I forgot where I put my camera. Right now the only thing I have is this knockoff GoPro camera. Uh, it's actually charging right now, give me a minute. Take this out of full screen, uh, go to OBS. So my camera right now is this uh, $30 knockoff GoPro. And uh, it's got a couple flaws. And mainly that it says you can use it as a webcam, but uh, as you can see, the port to put the tripod is right there, right next to where you would put the USB. So you can't mount it to a tripod and put the USB cable connected to your computer at the same time because, well, they're right next to each other. It doesn't fucking work. Uh, also, it only recognizes when you plug it into a computer if you're using Windows or Mac, so uh, it doesn't work on Linux. Which is fine, I can just, uh, as you can see here, take the SD card out, put it in my computer, and voila. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the video I just shot of iOS 13. Uh, TVO, TVOS 13? It's the Apple TV OS 13, whatever the fuck they want to call it. So let's go ahead back and full screen here. And I'll tell you what's going on. Alright. The, uh... Let me just adjust this real quick. Sorry for not having my shit together. Uh... Okay. Just adjust my webcam here. Alright, let's get to the video. So... Before I start this video, I want to do a recap. So, I have quite a few videos on the Roku Premiere that I bought. Uh, and, uh, overall it has potential, but what I don't like about it is you can't hook up Bluetooth headphones to it. You have to either plug the headphones into the stupid fucking controller they come with, and I'll get to the controller in a second, or sacrifice your privacy on your cell phone, disconnect your VPN, and use their fucking app. And that goes for Bluetooth keyboards, which... Typing on the Roku is a pain in my fucking ass. Uh, it really is. And, uh, the fact that you can't use Bluetooth keyboards and you have to do everything through an app pisses me off. The controller is this point-anywhere fucking piece of shit on the Roku, and, uh, half time it didn't work because interfering signals from my Wi-Fi, my Bluetooth headphones, uh -huh. a fan above my head comes with this, uh, wireless remote grandfather wired it into his house, but even that interferes with the Roku remote. And I ended up snapping the remote in half and buying a third-party IR receiver remote, and that fixed a lot of the issues. I Well, that fixed all the issues with the remote, but that doesn't change the fact that this device came out in, I want to say, 2017, and I have a wireless G Wi-Fi card meant for a really old fucking Windows XP computer that came out, I think, over 10 years ago, and that works far better than whatever the fuck they put in the Roku. So I got rid of the Roku. What did I get next? Well, I got the Fire TV. And holy shit, that fixed almost everything. I could use Bluetooth uh, keyboards, Bluetooth headphones. The Wi-Fi was so much better. It, it, everything was just so fucking great. But there are two issues that made me say, you know what, fuck it, I'm not even going to do a second video and waste my time on this. This sucks. And that is with the Amazon Fire Stick. Uh, it's kind of redundant in that if you watch my old video I did on it, you'll notice uh, the layout is basically the app. Uh, what is it called? Uh, let me see. Prime Video, that was it. It's basically the Prime Video layout with an extra row for apps, which is fucking stupid because one of those apps, which you can't remove by the way, is Prime Video. So, the interface is redundant and fucking stupid. The app store is confusing as hell. Uh, things that I was looking for weren't in the proper spot, but were in the featured. Uh, I don't know why the fuck they don't put it in both. But it, it just pissed me off to the point where I just gave it away. I didn't want to put up with it. And then I bought this. This is the 4th gen Apple TV HD, so it's not the 4K. And the reason why I didn't get the 4K is because most 4K movies were actually shot in 2K and just upscaled, so there was no fucking point uh, on that regard. HDR is a marketing gimmick. 
Uh, so there's no point getting it for the HDR. There's a dog barking in the background. I think it's my cousin's. Yeah, it's my cousin's dog. I don't know what the fuck he's barking at. Uh, so, and then on top of all that, the most place with actual 4K content is YouTube, and that's not available on the Apple TV 4K for some fucking reason. Uh, so I just went with the HD, saved some money, paid, paid 150 went to the Apple Store, picked it up. Came in a nice fancy bag and everything. I still have the bag in the box this came in. I uh, did a video on it originally. And I loved the Apple TV. Holy shit. And I've always said this about Apple. They make great software. They really do. They actually give a rat's ass about the experience. Hardware, not so much. Uh, the Apple TV, great hardware. Laptops, desktops, if you even want to call it that. Phones, everything else from Apple besides the TV is built like shit. Don't, don't bother. Uh, build a Hackintosh. Save your fucking money. Uh, but I really love the interface, originally, of uh, the Apple TV. So, as you can see here, before I press play, and I've been ranting now for some time, uh, you'll notice one of the things is the corners on the apps are now rounded instead of squared. And I really like that. What I don't like is the Apple TV uh, app that I'm showing you right now, which used to display... Uh, shit that I was watching that I might want to continue watching now as you can see it's got this new fucking dynamic mode Which shows me shit. I don't give a rat's ass about Including the remake of the Lion King which looked like shit and that I don't really give a fuck about Toy Story again Don't give a fuck The fucking Watchmen white supremacy bullshit that they put on HBO. Yeah, that's right If you haven't seen Watchmen, it's all about white supremacy Nothing to do with Watchmen completely fucking ruined it uh, another thing you can't remove now that's been added is this arcade thing, which you need a subscription for. Uh, I'm not paying $10 for it, and I don't like the fact that I can't remove this. Uh, it's the one thing I've always hated about these things. If you don't like something, you can't like hide it or remove it from this thing. It's always there. Uh, and so this is just a 1 minute 35 video. There's really not much new on it. Uh, and so I'm going to pause it right here. So, as you can see, the home screen, it's got the new dynamic mode bullshit. Uh, it's got this new multi-user and screen savers. Uh, also, one thing I forgot to show in the video, but my camera was dying and needed to be charged, so I didn't really have much time, is uh, if you look at where my pointer is right here, it used to be when you long press the uh, TV button, which is this button right here. It would come up with a menu right in the middle that said put to sleep or whatnot. Now that menu, no matter what screen you're on, comes from the side right about here on the side of your TV. So, a lot of these improvements are really good. I like the rounded corner aspect. I like the placement of the multi-user, even though I only use it for myself. I don't really give a fuck about other people. Uh, no one else is using it. Uh, I, I like the fact that I can put it to sleep from anything, so if I'm... Watching something, I can pause it, put it to sleep, pick it up later. You know? <gasps> Excuse me. I'm not wasting my fucking electricity and shit. Uh, there's a lot good to love. But where I really fucking hate the Apple TV is that it's, once again, one of these things where if you don't use something, like the Fire Stick, you can't uninstall it. You can't hide it from the home screen. It's just fucking there. And I fucking hate that to no avail. Because if I'm not going to use something, I don't care if it's your proprietary shit or garbage or whatever. I don't want it on my, taking up space on my home screen. And I don't like the fact that as a consumer, I don't have the option to say, Hey, I'm not using this. Get it out of my fucking face. I also don't like the fact that even though I put the thing in dark mode, it now has a stupid fucking dynamic piece of shit that has a bunch of shit that I don't give a rat's ass about whatsoever. And as you can see, it's just showing commercials and previews for movies and shit that I don't care about. Including these awful fucking Disney movies and fucking bullshit Hollywood films that I'll probably never watch because I don't give a fuck. I liked the Apple TV thing originally where, where I would play something. I connect the fucking app to the Apple TV, 
and I could pick up whatever I was watching later. It would show what I was watching. That was great. It was all about me. I know that sounds narcissistic, but it's my Apple TV. I would very much like it to show content that I give a fuck about. It's supposed to be all about me, because I am the consumer. I don't need something playing these garbage fucking bullshit commercials that I don't give a fuck about, that I can't turn off, that I can't remove. I mean, this is just fucking bullshit. And I don't like the update in this regard. I, I like everything about the update, except for this dynamic mode. The dynamic mode can go fuck itself. And I really hate Apple for doing this. Now, as stupid as I was going to say, uh, TiVo just came out with the TiVo Edge, and I've been her hearing rumors that uh, it might run on Apple, uh, not Apple TV, Android TV. Uh, if the TiVo does run on Android TV and I can get all the apps on it that I have on everything else, I might try that out in the future. Uh, big might. Uh, a lot of things would have to come into fruition. Fruition. Uh, one, the rumor that it's running on Android would have to come true. Two, I'd have to see the security of vulnerabilities in it and uh, hook it up to my Google account, which is under a fake name. Uh, I don't put many personal information onto shit if I don't have to. And, uh, I mean, I really like the Apple TV. I spent $150 fucking dollars on it. Uh, as of right now, I will say this is the best player you can get your hands on for the money. It is very user intuitive. It is very easy to type shit because it has a touchpad. I can just swipe around with my thumb. And uh, it really works well. I know some people don't like the touchpad thing and people have had problems with it. I've never had a fucking issue with it really. Uh, there was one issue I had with it where it would move around on its own. I just fucking reset the fucking Apple TV, unplugged it, waited 10 seconds, plugged it back in. That fixed the issue. Haven't had an issue since. Battery lasts fucking forever on the remote. It's a great fucking device. And I would highly recommend it over uh, Roku or Fire Stick. In fact, I wouldn't even consider the Fire Stick. And that is because some of the apps that I use, uh, primarily uh, Viacom apps and uh, Comet, which is an over-the-air streaming uh, channel that you can get with an antenna or you can get the app, are only available in either the Apple or the Roku. And there are so many problems with the Roku that I had that Roku is not an option. I know a lot of people like Roku, and it's like this huge fucking thing. I can't fucking stand it. Uh, it's just irritating and frustrating, and I don't like the fact that I can't hook up Bluetooth headphones to it, and that I have to do everything through a fucking app on my phone. If I have to, t if I have to add another device into the fucking mix, it it's not a good experience for me. And that is one of the things I gave Apple a lot of credit for is when I set this up this is the only Apple device I own I don't own an Apple computer I don't own Apple phone iPhone or whatever the fuck you want to call it I don't own any of that shit and I was able to a turn this on and activate it create an account online hook it up to my account on this and then just uh, down uh, I had to download the uh, Apple music app on my Android phone and Log in the account. That's the only thing I gave Apple shit for. Originally, to download apps, you have to have your account linked to the Apple Music. I don't care. Uh, it was a free subscription. I'm very glad I got it. Apple Music is great. So I have that in Napster now. Uh, some of the music library is different between the two, but it's good to have the difference. So there are some things I wish Apple would fix, uh, primarily being, hey, if I activate it without anything. I shouldn't be forced to go log into something else to download apps. Uh, this dynamic mode needs to have an option for me to turn off in the settings because I fucking hate it. And uh, other than that, yeah, there's really not much bad to say about the Apple TV. Uh, and it is very much worth the 150 fucking dollars. And uh, I wouldn't buy the 4K. I just wouldn't. 1080p is fine, especially on 4K television, even if you have one. Uh, most every internet service provider has a data cap of a terabyte, so 4K is going to eat that up a lot. 
Uh, I watch TV because right now I'm in between jobs, so I'm applying for jobs on my computer. And uh, I'm watching TV while applying for jobs. I'm watching TV fucking 24-7 pretty much. Uh, and my data cap between that and doing all the work I do on my computer and testing out new operating systems and shit, I don't hit over 500 gigs. Uh, that would probably more than double if I was watching it in 4K. Uh, again, I have a 1080p television right here. It's a Westinghouse. I got it for free. I just had to buy a power supply for it. Uh, it is kind of a piece of shit in that the, sometimes the greens are orange, but uh, for the most part, it's really good. Uh, another thing about the Apple TV I didn't mention, the color, oh my god, it is so easy to calibrate your TV and, and your Apple TV not look like shit. And when I calibrated my TV perfectly to what it needed to be, and I plugged in the Roku, things were off. I mean, colors looked just whack as shit. And I don't know what the fuck Roku's using. I didn't have that problem with the Fire Stick e uh, either. But something about Roku, it's just like they cheap out on fucking everything. And it just makes an inferior pile of shit. And you really do get what you pay for. And I really wouldn't recommend buying any fucking TV or uh, box with Roku on it. If you're gonna buy something cheap, sure, if you can put up with the ecosystem of the Fire Stick and you don't find it infuriating, go with that. But if you have the money, or if you're trying to, if, or if you're capable of saving up the money, like I was, like I'm on disability in between jobs, two months of saving up what money I could spend with my disability and I was able to get a Fire, um, the Apple TV. Not the Fire TV. Fire TV is only 30 bucks. Uh, but the Apple TV really is worth $150, so I'm rambling now. I'm going to go ahead and hit exit. Escape, sorry. Uh, and get out of this. And uh, that is the video. So if you are in the mood for watching TV and you like uh, good content and you want to watch it with good picture, uh, and you don't want to put up with infuriating shit, and you want a smooth interface, buy the Apple TV. It is worth the $150. I cannot praise this product enough. And I know that is rare for me to praise an Apple product, because for the most part, Apple is a steaming pile of fucking garbage when it comes to hardware. Uh, but this is one exception to the rule. I mean, they really did the hardware justice, and they really made it good. And uh, that is a rare occasion for Apple to make good hardware. And it is... Definitely worth $150 to spend on this. Uh, Apple TV Plus is coming out soon. I'm not sure I'm even going to bother. Uh, it's going to be like the arcade. It's just like, I don't fucking care. I have enough streaming services. Uh, HBO Max and Peacock, I will be reviewing when those come out. Because I probably will be subscribing. Uh, my next video, I'm going to go over the TV subscriptions and talk about cable versus cord cutting. So look forward to that. Uh, if you like this video thumbs up, or whatever. I don't understand how this fucking site works, honestly. Uh, apparently you have to hit a bell or some shit. I'm not doing this YouTube thing for likes and shit. I'm just doing it to figure out how to use this technology and, uh, red edit videos and use OBS and shit because I feel like that's a skill I should learn, is how to use uh, streaming apps and video editing and whatnot. It's a, it's a good skill to have. And, uh, Consider subscribing to random reviews and shit. Uh, anyways, yeah, rant's over. I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna end this video and upload it before uh, this gets out of hand. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video where I talk about uh, the price of cable versus cord cutting.